Hi, and welcome to Hey Harvey CNC. Today I will show you how to use guidelines. How to add them, to position them, how to delete or hide them, and how to use them. So let's start. There are a number of ways to add guidelines. You can go to the top ruler, left click, and drag it to the location you want, and let go. Or you can go to the left side ruler, left click, bring it, and let go. Or you can right click, go to guidelines, insert horizontal, go to guidelines, insert vertical, and you may also enter it on an angle. In this case, let's say 45. Okay, we want another one at 35. You may also enter a guideline from two different points. Guidelines, insert angle, two points. You can put them anywhere on your drawing. You can go here, like again, and that's how you add them. If you want to lock a particular one, you go to it, right click, lock the guideline, close it, and this one's locked. The other ones can still move. You want to unlock this one. Click, click the unlock button. You're set to go. If you want to lock all the guidelines, you go up to view, guidelines, lock all existing guidelines. Now, none of them will move. If you want to unlock them, go back up to View, Guidelines, Unlock All Existing Guidelines, and again, you have control of them. Now that you know how to add them and delete them, what else can you do? Well, you can, when you click on a guideline, if you only have one, the one that you're on, select current one, so I can move this one to a new position three we can move to new position four apply and then move to position four we can go to move it to two and move to two we can put it at 45 angle apply it goes there back to zero however down here you have you can create new parallel guides, either absolute or relative. So if you want to just create one four away, say okay, create new guideline, it's at four. If you wanted to be actually four away from here, where we were, new relative, put four, it moved relative from the three to the seven. Um, you can also create a number of guidelines. So we're going to do relative at 0.5. We want three of them. Create new guidelines. There they are. You can hide the guidelines by clicking the square and bring them back by clicking on the square. Also, if you have them hidden and you add one, that'll bring them back. And you can still go to View, Guidelines. So now that you know how to use guidelines, what can you do with them? Well, you could use the snapping feature of Vetrix. If you have a guideline, you want to know the center of the circle, the mouse change right there in the center of the circle. If you'd like to know where the middle of this rectangle is, go to the middle of the rectangle, and there it is. You want to go from a point to a point. You can add a guideline from the tip of the star to the corner of this rectangle. So if you want to know the angle, 
between those points, angle dimension. Fifty nine point four degrees. If you wanted to know the difference, the distance between the center of the circle, the center of this rectangle, and the center of the star, you could add guidelines. And right there is the center of the circle, the rectangle, and the star. And you'd be able to tell the difference, the distance between all these objects also. There are probably a lot of other uses for guidelines. Right now I'm not demonstrating. If you have any of your favorite tips on guideline usage, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.